I know what you're thinking. Bitcoin and meme coins have been stealing the show in crypto. When are my coins going to start making a move? Well, there's some coins that are starting to make a move right now. In today's video, I'm going to show you those. So hit that like button and let's jump into it. All right, today we're going to be jumping into ISO 222 tokens. Now, these tokens have not been a main narrative for this bull run as of yet, but they are starting to make a big move in crypto. So we're going to jump into it here and show you which ones are starting to move and what's going on with it. All right, so we're looking at the chart for Bitcoin here. We did make a new all-time high as of this recording, $94,000. We'll also take a look at Dogecoin here. Dogecoin got up to 44 cents recently and all these meme coins and Bitcoin have been stealing the show with crypto but we're starting to see a big move in some of the ISO 222 tokens like XRP and others. If you don't know what ISO 222 tokens are we'll take a look here quick and show you exactly what they are. They are basically the standard for financial systems to use crypto. ISO 222 is a flexible standard for financial messages that enables interoperability between financial institutions, market infrastructures and the banks customers. All banks must be ready to support the new language standard to continue processing payments. So the ISO 222 standard supports inclusion of richer, better structured transaction data in payments messages and aims to deliver a better customer experience by enabling less manual intervention, more accurate compliance processes, higher resilience, and improved fraud prevention measures. So now that we know what ISO 222 is, let's look at the tokens now that are pumping in this area. So if you look at XRP, it's up over 115% on the two weeks here. There was speculation about XRP moving because Brad Garlinghouse, the CEO of Ripple, was potentially in talks with Trump in private. We don't know what those talks may have been about, but people speculate that it has to do something with positive crypto regulation. Uh, so that's why people were assuming XRP was pumping. But if you take a look at these other coins I'm going to talk about in this video, they are moving just as much, some of them even more so. So if we look at Stellar XLM here, basically this is up 150% over the two weeks as well. And if you look at their max here, we go back to 2017 and 2018 here. This got up to over 80 cents back then. And then last cycle, it only got up to, you know, like 60 some cents, maybe 70 cents, somewhere in that range. And so this cycle, it's up to 23 cents already. I don't really have a price prediction per se for XLM. The same with XRP, you know, it hasn't reached its previous all time high from 2017 and 2018. There was a lot of bullish movement from these coins back in that bull run. But last bull run with the SEC FUD and lawsuit, they didn't do as well as 2017 and 2018. So potentially they could do better this time if there is some really good regulation in place by this new administration with the Trump administration. If we take a look here at HBAR as well, Hedera is basically up like 188% over the last two weeks. So you can see the movement here all the way down from November 4th of 4 cents and it pumped to over 15 cents here recently over the last few days. So the ISO 222 tokens are starting to make a move. Now, as far as price predictions for HBAR, I'm going to cover that here quick. If you take a look at the history on it, basically last bull run in 2021 it did peak around 50 cents just a real quick spike up there and then corrected back down to the 40 cent range so a lot of people are waiting to sell this token that i've been holding since the last bull run so i'm going to expect a lot of selling pressure in that 40 to 50 cent range with h bar and i could see it potentially getting up to a dollar maybe two in this bull run but i think somewhere realistically in that 50 cents to one dollar range for h bar with the potential for it to go you know higher maybe up to dollar 52 dollars but obviously nobody knows for sure what these coins are going to do so you don't want to wait for any specific Specific price point to take your profits out if you're in good profits you know it's time to take some out we take a look at Algorand here this one's not up quite as much but it's up almost 94 percent over the last few days as of this recording if we take a look here back in November it was down to 11 cents and it got up to over 22 almost like 23 cents here uh, over the last few days now that was as of this recording these could have moved more by the time this video comes out because the videos are a little bit delayed so keep in mind with that with all these tokens as well you know back here in 2019 2018 was when it was first launched here basically in 2019 and then last bull run it got up to a little over two dollars uh, so the possibility for it to get up that high again this bull run 
is there, which would be about a 10x from here, but we'll have to see how Algorand does. It doesn't have as much popularity as some of the other coins that I'm talking about in this video. If we take a look at Quant here. This one is, you know, one of my favorite coins to talk about. And, you know, if we look back here earlier this month, it was around $55, and then it moved all the way up to over $90 as of this recording. Uh, you got up to like $92 or something like $94 as of this recording, but a little bit of a, you know, pump with this one here, almost 100% move with it. Basically, you know, if you go from 55 up to like $110 that would be a hundred percent move so not quite a hundred percent move on it yet but it's just warming up this could take off at any time with these coins finally moving if we look at the history on this one basically back in 2021 here it did get up to like $400 was its peak and then a big crash from there and this was back in September of 2021 while some of the other coins weren't really moving that much during the summer it started moving up what other coins were dumping so kind of an unusual move with quant but it's good to see some price action out of it right now. But, you know, it's really difficult to say how big these coins are going to get this bull run. It really depends on if ISO 222 becomes a huge narrative for this bull run. I know these coins are going to do fairly well, but will they do awesome? I don't know. I think maybe they'll do okay this bull run. Maybe they'll surprise us and do extremely well. I really think it's going to depend on what kind of regulation comes out of this Trump administration and if it really gets any kind of uh, adoption with the financial institutions over the next year. Year. that's really going to be the key factor with this but these could really pop off in the next bull run 2029 i think that's when these are going to shine the most potentially but we'll have to see here so another news why this could potentially be bullish for crypto is trump considers crypto lawyer Teresa goley gullion for sec chair and she's a blockchain attorney uh, and she is a former sec official so she's in talks potentially with trump being considered as the sec chair now we'll have to see if she actually gets picked or not as of this recording i think it's uh, kind of speculation right now nothing guaranteed but that's kind of the rumor that's going around right now so they're also talking about in here how gary gensler may step down by thanksgiving i'll believe that when i see it i don't think he'll actually step down until you know he gets fired from the trump administration but we'll see maybe he'll resign on the last day or maybe he'll resign by thanksgiving if we're lucky but i just highly doubt he'll actually resign there's been talks about him resigning for over a year now and he hasn't but hopefully he will uh, if not he's going to get terminated anyways but hopefully we get some somebody that's pro crypto in place at the SEC. It looks like Trump is starting to make some positive changes in our government structure for crypto. So that is a good thing. And with him buying a crypto exchange, potentially, he's definitely going to want pro crypto people in there for legislation because it's going to affect his crypto business as well. So that's another thing that we definitely have to keep in mind that some of these ISO 222 tokens are probably moving, making some movement because of these positive changes in our government structure that'll be coming up here. So maybe these coins will potentially do better than they did last bull run due to this positive movement because you have to remember in 2021 bull run these coins were being suppressed because of the hostility of the current administration and Gary Gensler attacking them with the SEC and suing them with multiple lawsuits from the SEC and sending them Wells notices left and right which he's continued to do right up until this day so hopefully with these changes in place this makes it a very very bullish bull run we'll have to see how well these coins do I know there's a lot of people out there that are holding these these coins and hoping for the best and maybe we'll see some really good movement out of them this bull run let's cross our fingers and hope that that's the case hit that like button if you're not subscribed you can check out nordvpn and get up to four months free they're very affordable and if you're using crypto you should be using a vpn so check out the link or nordvpn in the description below i appreciate it and we'll see you on the next video